Hi, welcome to Luna Love with Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a bonus reading for Leo for uh, June 2021. Thank you so much for all your views and your likes. I really do appreciate you supporting the channel. All right, so please don't take what resonates. Leave the rest, Leo. Um, keep in mind everything is subject to your free will. Your free will and anyone you are energetically connected to as well as the will of divine. No one is free from all cause and effect. Cross watchers, I'm going to be reading this from the Leo's perspective. Um, obviously you can vice versa or, you know, flip the roles, whatever. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. Spirit, show me Leo for June, 2021. Please show me Leo. Show me Leo, please. June, 2021. Show me Leo, please. June, 2021. Okay. We have nine of cups reverse. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. We have the Two of Wands reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, show me, show me Leo, please. Show me Leo. And we have the King of Cups in the upright. Okay. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Strong, Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Okay, Leo, you may be feeling that you can't open up. You feel like something you you're you're you feel like something isn't a wish fulfillment. Um, you also feel like you can't open up, or the only choice you have is to keep your emotions to yourself, or this could be someone that you're dealing with. Um, you may not be working with somebody right now. You may not want to work with someone right now on a connection or in business. Someone could very well be holding back their feelings from you. You may feel like someone is lazy and they don't want to work, like have a job, or they don't want to work and work on things with you. They're holding back a lot. You may feel like someone's lazy in the connection. They, The King of Cups here has a lot of love. I mean, they have a lot of love. Okay, they just don't show it. Now, this could be you. This could be, uh, you know, someone you're dealing with. They just don't show it that much on the outside. Maybe you need someone to, to tell you how, how they feel. Or you need to speak how you feel to somebody. This could also be, there's a stall in wish fulfillment because someone isn't sharing their feelings. Someone isn't also working with you or working on, like, a business project either. Why is it not a cups reverse? Spirit, why not a cups? Now you have the king of swords reverse, okay? There's this honesty about what somebody wants. Someone is also overly emotional, not thinking more logically here. Um, you or them, doesn't matter. Somebody here is not being honest with themselves or someone else. They are also... Um, not in control of their emotions. This person could be quite corrupt. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Oh, it's too many. All right, Spirit, show me the Two of Wands reverse, please. Now we have the Knight of Swords in the upright. This is someone who's looking for a fight. Someone's fighting to get something going, but there is something here. Maybe there's some form of like bad arguments or something like that. But there, there is there is truth that's coming in. So someone may not be a king of swords in the upright, but they're a knight of swords. So they want to come in. Somebody here wants to do battle, wants to fight for a connection. Libra energy as well. More air energy. Or maybe you want to fight for a connection. Show me the king of cups, please. Why is the king of cups here? Page of Pentacles. So somebody here needs to offer love. There's news of money and love. Or someone's holding back news about, about finances or money. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So there's no more clarity. Or, excuse me, there's no more confusion. No more options to offer. Someone's out of options here. There's news of financial gain or news of a new business or new job possibly. Either that you're holding back or someone else is holding back this from you. Or someone here wants to make an offer towards you um, if it's a water sign. But 
because they, they want to offer clarity or maybe you want to offer clarity to someone but there there is a need for it let me see hold on there is a need uh let me see let's see why is this uh so someone someone has made a decision they're going coming in with the harsh brutal truth you know coming in to fight for something someone's made a decision to fight for something okay they want to offer someone here wants to offer clarity or you or somebody's asking you to to give them clarity okay show me the not show me the nine of cups reverse tell me more about that or excuse me show me the king of swords reverse sorry spirit king of swords reverse please King of Cups in the upright. So it's the same person. Okay. Or this could be two different people. But nevertheless, to me, it looks, feels like the same person here. Somebody here, they have a lot of depth of love. They want to offer communication. They want to offer love. Um, but maybe there's there's breakdown in communication. There's There could be even like verbally abusive communication. So be mindful of that. Um, these reasons are not for people who are in abusive situations. Okay. Or in abusive connections or, or abusing others. Somebody here, it feels like somebody has an internal conflict about what it is that they want. Or, or somebody struggles with communication with you or you with them. What is this nine of so? Somebody here is very much a warrior. Very well could be dealing with a Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. Someone's very much a warrior. But someone does. somebody does need to be offered clarity or it can't work. What is this Knight of Swords about? So yeah, there's they can't have wish fulfillment here unless there is proper communication. And someone here is very, very stoic. Um, they don't really share a lot. They don't really, they have, they're in their feels. They have deep emotion. They just don't know, there's no communication about it. Um, so therefore there can't be wish fulfillment here. Unless there is communication. Someone's making the decision though to come in fighting for something. For this connection or to make an offer of clarity to so things can work. Um, okay, show me the Knight of Swords, please. Why is this here? Okay. We have the Emperor Reverse. And we have the Seven of Cups Reverse. So, someone... Either you're getting clarity on a person or someone's bringing clarity to your person about you. Um... Someone's getting very clear. There's no. There's going to be absolute clarity and truth about someone uh, having a big nasty ego here. Maybe you feel like they have an ego, but here we have the emperor reverse, which is like the father figure, the husband figure, the CEO. But this person abuses their power. Okay, they also manipulate a lot, and they are also um, controlling as well, but also a huge ego. So it feels like somebody here is coming in to fight for something. To possibly fight with an emperor or for an emperor. Or they're coming in to bring clarity about a father figure, a husband. It doesn't have to be it doesn't necessarily have to be a man. It could be, you know, a woman that's that's in this energy too, okay guys. So just keep that in mind. Um this also could for me is like Taurus, Aries, and Leo for me. But there's gonna be clarity here. Seven of Cups reverse or Seven of Cups in general is Scorpio energy. So a lot of, a lot of Scorpio. So you might feel someone's bringing clarity to a Scorpio or a Scorpio's bringing clarity to you or about you rather about someone having no more options. And someone is very like someone's out of options here to be able to make something right. Um, someone has been clashing with somebody's. It's like the clash of egos. But I feel like more one person has more of it than the other. Meanwhile, the other person feels stifled from being able to communicate their feelings because someone's always in their ego. Ego is a big issue here and not speaking what, oh, like opening the heart here. Show me the page of pentacles, please. Why is this here? Yeah, we have the full card reverse. So somebody's being very careless and reckless with making offers here. Someone's may not even be willing to take that leap of faith to bring clarity to the situation. We do have clarity here twice, but somebody here, one person wants clarity. The other person doesn't. One person wants closure. The other person doesn't. And closure doesn't necessarily have to mean the end of a relationship. It just means there's clarity. Everything's out on the table. So things can't work unless there's clarity and closure. 
Someone here is not going to offer a taking a leap of faith here unless there is. Someone will not move forward with you or you won't move forward with them unless there's absolute clarity. All right, let me see. Anything else about this page of pentacles? But someone here is not, they're, they're saying, okay, there's news of someone being reckless with money or there's news of somebody being reckless in general, possibly with an Aries here. Anything else about this page of pentacles? Which is Virgo energy. Yeah, now we have the seven of pentacles reversed. We got three sevens. Somebody, yeah, some more Virgo energy. Somebody here is not taking a leap of faith with somebody unless there is going to be work. Because you have the page of pentacles, which is bringing one pentacle. Seven of pentacles reverse, right? So, what is that, eight? If you add them together. And then eight of pentacles reverse. So, somebody here is not going to offer any new leap of faith, any new beginning, because they're not, there's someone who's getting breadcrumbed. And I feel like it's this, this water sign here. Or this could be, even be you. Even though it's not, you know, your element. It could even be you. Because somebody doesn't want to bring truth and clarity to a situation because of their ego. Somebody's got a big ego problem. And someone, there's just this fighting with... Someone can't fight with your ego or you can't fight with their ego no more. Someone's not willing to do that either. Like, no, it, it, you want me to work with you? I'm not going to work with you until you give me clarity and closure. Yep. News. Communication. Someone is not going to work with the other person unless there is clear, honest communication. No more gossiping. No more spying. No more stalking. No more hacking. None of that bullshit. We need to have a conversation. We need to have clarity. We need to have closure. We need to be in our fields. We need to have a cry out. Whatever you want to call it. So we can move on. If not... Then this person here, which I feel like is the same person, okay, then this person is over. There's no, there, there's no, there's no continuing on. All right, let me see. Let me get you some oracle cards real fast. Also, if you're a Leo man, happy Father's Day if you're a dad. Okay. Let's see, any guidance, please, and love regarding the situation. Now, this could be, you know, it doesn't have to be love. It could even be, you know, family, friends, coworkers, you know. Um, siblings, what have you. Someone needs to really do the part here. Someone's not going to get her. Someone is not going to take a leap of faith and give somebody return on their investment unless they are offered clarity and closure with the closure with the emotions here. Something needs to be put to rest once and for all. All right. Anything else, please? Any guidance please, from the Leos in our crossword? Okay. We have very soon. Um, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So yes, yeah, someone here has a lot of options. But there's going to be clarity about that. And someone's not going to have the options that they thought. 777 is divinely guided to happen this way. Anything else please for my Leos? Anything else please for my Leos? Guidance please for my Leos. We have. Do you deserve love? You are lovable. Absolutely. Someone here doesn't believe that they're lovable. I feel like it's because. Somebody here doesn't believe that they're lovable. Because somebody is always in their ego. Someone here is very very defensive all the time. No matter what this person says. So this person's not going to offer anything towards you or you to them unless there is truth and clarity. Everything's out on the table and there's like a cry out or some form of closure. Um, somebody here, I feel like as this emperor reverse, this father, or this masculine figure doesn't, again, doesn't have to be a man. Has someone who's been, has a big nasty ego here. Um, doesn't have the options that they think that they have, and they're always fighting from their egos, so always defensive and making the other person or and or you feel unlovable, which isn't true. You are lovable. Crosswatcher, you're lovable. Leo, you're lovable. Anything else, please? Anything else, please? Oh, yep, for yourself, what I tell you? It's time to take back control of your life. So, yep, somebody here, someone's going to be made to make a decision. I feel like these are the same person and this is a, the other person, okay? The one person has to make a decision about what it is that they actually want. One person needs to come out of their ego and stop fighting and making the other person feel like they're not lovable. Because if they don't, this person is not going to work with you or you're not going to work with them and they're going to be leaving the situation, not having a new start, not offering a return on the investment, because now they have clarity that there will never be clarity here, if that makes sense. Okay? There's no there's no reciprocity, no equal give and take, no priori prioritize, prioritizing the relationship. Yeah. Okay, anything else, please? Why is clear very soon here? Very soon. What's this about? 
yeah, we have a new start is coming. So, yeah, somebody here might be choosing someone else. Or you might be choosing somebody else. Or if you want this connection, there has to be a new start. Which means there has to be truth and clarity. Which means there has to be some form of closure to the old way of things being. Alright, why do you deserve love? Adjustments are required. Yeah, someone needs to pay attention to self-love and self-care. By the deck, we have emotions are going to be running high. Mm -hmm. Why is for yourself here? Why is for yourself here? We have don't let your past hold you back. Yep, free. Yeah, there's freeing. Somebody needs to be freed or released from the past. So there can be clarity and movement forward if there is going to be movement forward in the connection. If not, then someone needs it so they can just move on with or without you or you without with or without them. There has to be this. Yeah, we have bottom of the deck. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. We also have a super full moon in Capricorn on the 24th. So that's going to be coming. So we have full moon in Scorpio. Release and it's time to release negativity. I feel like you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. Somebody here is ready to release this. You or you're ready to release them. Someone here needs a new start. Someone's someone's trying really hard not to let their past hold them back. So they're trying to free themselves. Either they're trying to free themselves from what's happened or you are from what's happened in the relationship between the two of you. Release themselves from the past about that. Or somebody here it needs the closure to release themselves from the past and this relationship. Because it's not working. Someone's not going to work with somebody else unless there is clarity, closure, and putting something to rest. One way or the other. Yep, you're very close to achieving your goal. Yep, someone's getting really close to completing the cycle with you or you with them. So, and that can mean starting a new chapter in the relationship and starting fresh. Or that can mean totally just leaving the relationship. Okay, well, this is what I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for all your views. And thank you for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, happy Father's Day to the male Leos out there. Um, please take care of yourself. Um, if you want to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, y'all take care of yourself, okay? Bye.